Um, hello, so today we are going to do this problem called increasing triplet subsequence, which is part of lead code daily challenge. Um, so the problem says we get um, an array of numbers and we want to return true if there exists a triple of indices i, j, k, such that i is smaller than j and j is smaller than k. And b the numbers also are each smaller than each other. And if we don't find any such three indices, we want to return false, right? Um, so basically, triple i, j, k sub subsequence, right? Triple consecutive, um, not necessarily consecutive, but triple numbers such that each of them is after the other um, in the in the array, right? So if we take a look at this array here, um, well, one, two, three is a valid one. Three, four, five is a valid one. So we can return true. Um, yeah, any of them, we can base it off of any, any of them. Um, here, um, there is no sequence that is that has this property because it's um, it's a decreasing array. So, yeah, we can't take 5, 4, 3, uh, we take, we, 4, 3, 2 is not valid, 3, 2, 1 is not valid, so it's false. With this sequence here, um, well, we can take 0, 4, 6, that's a valid uh, triple subsequence, um, so we can return true there. Um, yeah, you can also do one, four, six, right? Um, so yeah, we return true for this one. Um, yeah, so let's see how we can solve this one. Um, okay, so let's see how we can solve it. So let's take this example array, which is a little bit slightly more complex. Um, so how do we do this? Um, so one way to think about it is we want basically just a first. We want a second and we want um, a last one, right? And we want those to be smaller than each other. And the order, so this would be I, position I, J, K, and these are smaller. So that's what we want, right? So what do we need to find? You can think of it as like partitioning the array in a way to, to get three portions. So we want to get a left side, right? Um, in this case, the first one is one, so we need to kind of have s uh, get a pointer here, get a pointer here for the second, and get a pointer here for the last. Right. So this would end up with this solution one three four. But how do we how do we do that? Well, if you think about it, actually, what we can do is just go through the array and just maintain these three numbers or the three posi uh, the three va three values so um, maintain first s second and once we find last um, then just return true and maintain them in a way that we maintain this variant right so how do we do that well Anytime you find, so we can just go through the numbers, so we have a number. And so we initialize them to infinity, just a large number, right? And so we go through two. Anytime we find that a number is smaller than the fir current first, we should just replace it because it's always better for us to have the smallest number for first, right? Because if first has the smallest number, then it increases its chances to find two numbers bigger than it, right? And so when we find two here, it's smaller than first, right? So we replace it. So we replace here with two, with two here, right? So we do if the number is smaller than first, we replace first with that number. Okay, what if the number is not smaller than first, right? So let's continue and we'll see. So for example, we get one. One is also smaller than two first, so let's replace one, okay? Now when we get to five, five is bigger than first, so what should we do, right? Um, so if, if, if the number is bigger than first, which is the else if here, then maybe that number can be a candidate for second, right? So it's possible that that number is a candidate because it could the solution could be one five nine, all right. Um, since it's bigger than first, potentially we will we may find a number bigger than it, 
and get, get the triplet. So it's a possible candidate. So we need to assign it. But when when should we assign it? Similar to first, right? It's always better to pick the smallest number. So if we already assigned a smaller number to second, we should keep it, right? We should not increase the value because, because that will decrease our chances of finding a bigger one to get the triplet. So we should only do it if it's smaller than the current second, right? Smaller or equal, right? Because if it's equal, may as well replace it, right? Um, it should be, yeah, it should be fine. Um, so we have second here, we assign number, right? Now, if we go to four here, four is bigger than one. So it doesn't make sense to replace with four because then if this is, was three, then we screwed up our triplet, right? But is four s smaller than five? Yes. So it's better for us to have four here because maybe if there was five here, then we would have a solution. But if we don't replace it, then we don't have a solution because it's not smaller, right? So it's better for us to replace when it's smaller. So we replace here for um, four second with four, so using this condition. Now we get to three. Uh, for three, is it, is it smaller than first? No. Is it smaller than second? Yes. So it's better for us to use it than four because, again, maybe this nine was four uh, or this nine wasn't here even and we just have this four, then it's better for us to replace it so that we can find the triplet because three is smaller than four, right? So it's always better if the number that we just encountered is smaller than whatever number is in one of the triplets, it's always better to replace it, okay? Um, and so here we replace with three. Uh, we'll replace four with three. Um, now, when do we decide that we found a solution here? Well, if we find a number that is bigger than both, right, bigger than both, and since we are going in increasing order, so the k would be bigger, if we find a number that bigger than both, then we found our solution, right? So we go to four. Four is bigger than one. Four is bigger than three, right? And so we return it. We return true because we found our triplet. Because this number here, last is equal to this number, right? So you can see um, this should work no matter what, what, what solution we are using. Always basically make first the smallest number possible, make second the next smallest number, and if you find a number that is bigger than the two, then we find our solution, right? And this solution would be, um, in terms of time and complexity, it would be O of n time. Uh, for space, we are just using extra variable, so O of one space. Um, yeah, so that's pretty much it for this solution. Let's write it and make sure it passes test cases. Um, okay, so let's do a solution here. Um, that we just saw in the overview. So first we need our first and second value and we need to initialize them to a big, a big value, right? So that we can find smaller values, right? Um, and so we go through the array. And if, as we said, if the number is smaller or equal to first, then it's better to make that the first number. Otherwise, if it's smaller, bigger, so here it would mean, by the way, here it would mean, if we get to this else, it means that the number is is bigger than first. And that's what we want for second. We want second to be bigger than first. Right? And so when we assign second to this number, if this condition is true, then we will get first smaller than second, which is what we want, because we want the triplet like this. And so here we assign second. Um to that number if it's smaller than it because we have it's always better to pick the smaller number if we get here which means basically this number is bigger than second right it's bigger than second this number is bigger than second because we got to the else and second is bigger than first right so it means this number is our triple number it's the last one because also we are traversing the array in increasing indices order, so I, I smaller than j smaller than k is also valid here. And so if we get here, we can just return true. Otherwise, if we um, finish the array without finding any solution here, we return false. So let's run this. OK. 
Okay, so that looks good. Let's submit. And that passes. Um, yeah, so that's pretty much it for today's problem. Uh, we solved it in O of n. Um, and O of n, o of n, o of n time and O of n space. Um, yeah, thanks for watching and see you on the next one. Bye.